Often physically, sometimes that leads to drops. Now it's Roethlisberger. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. So this offense really needs to make something happen here late in the fourth with the football. Brown, the lone receiver left. Here's Roethlisberger to throw. It's a gain of six on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Here we go. It's Roethlisberger on fourth down. This is Bell on the dump off. Give him nine on the play, and the decision to go for it pays off. They've got a first and goal. Well, the feel that I get on this is that they felt like three was just not going to be enough after getting this deep into their territory. And, Charles, correct me if I'm wrong, but it didn't even look like they hesitated there. They knew they wanted to go for it. That tells me that during the week, they were thinking about these situations, and they feel like maybe they're just the better team, and they want to go ahead and prove it conclusively. So incomplete on first. Let's see what second down has in store. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit. Got his man. It's caught for a Steelers touchdown. Marcus Wheaton, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Steelers have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. And touchdown and congratulations and zero relaxation ahead of them, right? Way too much time on the clock for them to start celebrating. Yeah, part one is done, but now on the sideline, you can already see them scrambling down there. They're getting... Crunch time late in the game. Does this defense have the fortitude to get the stop they need? Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And after the field goal last time, let's see what they can get here. And at least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I've never met an offensive coach. The Red Sea parts, and there he goes. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Logan Randall, his second touchdown on the season. And the Eagles... This big old line of the playmakers to take control of this game as we get down toward the end. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. They're only in need of a field goal, a decent amount of time on the clock. So tell me if I'm wrong. You don't have to be too panicked here. No, not at all. I agree with you. And this is where your preparation and your confidence comes into play. They've worked on these situations. Yeah, they practice this all the time. Oh, they practice it all the time. They know what they want to get done. And in a lot of cases, the great competitors, they love this situation. They think they can go ahead and get it done. They practiced it. We'll see if practice makes perfect. He'll look to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Fletcher Cox in there to take him down. And the clock will roll. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. It'll be a 20-yard gain on the play. Now the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. Back to throw. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. They had to go. So the defense backed up here. Let's see if they can hold on this next play. Here's Bradford. And he hits his man, Matthews. And they pick up the first down there with a gain of four. And this defense, they needed that one more stop to have any chance. But that completion, that's likely going to seal their fate. And you could hear it in your voice, that one more stop. <laughs> I feel their pain.